This is like a fairy tale house. What's up guys, Joe and Jen here. We are in Brooksville, Florida at Chinzigit Hill. Chinzigit Hill is on the Brooksville Ridge. It's a very historic area. There's a plantation on this property that has ties to the Civil War. We're gonna talk a little bit about that, but there are some secret trails around here that I don't think too many people know about. So we're gonna explore them and see what we can find. Let's go. Look at the terrain. This is not like Florida at all. Wait till you see some of the views that we're gonna show you later on in the video once we get out of the woods, but it's like you're not in Florida at all. Oh look, there's some... I just <laughs> walked in a spider web. Was that like a bridge? What was this? I don't know. It might have been a bridge. Definitely really old. Oh. Yeah, look at the ledge over here. I know, but it looks like it just fell off. Might have been a bridge because this looks like a little creek, Dry dried up creek. creek bed as it keeps going that way. I wonder if there's any writing or anything on this. Tangerine. What? Oh, I hear it. Is that the wind? I hear something in the woods over there. It sounded like a big animal. Another thing about Chinzigit Hill is that it's supposedly haunted. The plantation house, there's actually some abandoned shacks a little bit over by where the plantation was. And we'll show you that a little bit later. Wow, that's some really thick bamboo. Oh, another, another uh, stone, not stone, but uh, like a foundation. Nail on there too. Oh wow, that's odd. That was like a building. Jen, look, this is, like brick. Huh. Look at all the bamboo. Check out how this bamboo is growing all over the place here. You want to eat one? I yeah. bet you they're good. If you do it, I'll do it. They're wild. Here. How bad could they be? Not bad. Can um, you reach how about that? that one right there? Oh. There's two sitting right on that thing. Okay. Well, they smell all right. Seems to be very easy to peel. Does that mean they're ready? You go first. I feel dry. They bad? Yeah, like wild oranges are never sweet. You wanna try one? No. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Yeah. Yeah. Go to your local farmer's market if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna get they some oranges. Some give that to the raccoons. Can we go that way? Look, is that a game trail or is it? No, uh, I don't know. No, trail. It's like a little trail. Yet? No, not yet. I know. It feels like we're walking through the jungle. This is so cool. It does feel like the jungle. <laughs> Told you guys, this area is not like being in Florida. 
between the elevation and all this, this is pretty cool. Very cool. Hmm. It looks new. Kinda, maybe not. Looks like there's some writing on the side here. Okay, we just came across a really old bridge, it looks like, with uh, water. And an old cast iron pipe. And that's running water, coming from right there. Wow. That is amazing. The, just the terrain, I think, is what's getting me here. Let's, uh, I guess, keep walking down this trail. We just found remains, remains of something over here. I don't know what this is. I wonder if something sat on top. Oh, look, it held a. a what? It held like a post or something. I wonder if there's another one nearby. Usually, when you see stuff like that, there's usually something nearby because it's usually like a foundation for some kind of like pillar or something, but I'm not seeing it unless it's on the other side over there. I don't see anything else nearby that resembles that thing curious to what it was if anybody knows what that could be for let us know but i think it held some kind of pillar that's my guess so i've done a little bit of research on chinzaget hill but i'm gonna just read you guys briefly what the actual historic site says about chinzaget hill so in 1842 South Carolinian Bird M. Pearson staked a claim on 160 acres and called it Mount Airy, which we'll show you a little bit later why this was called Mount Airy. One of the few surviving counties. Pearson built the manor house East Wing in 1847 and later residents expanded it beginning in 1852. He raised citrus, cattle, and sugar cane. So that's basically the beginning of Chinsigat Hill. Famous people such as Thomas Edison and Helen Keller and that uh, uh, author of Rawlings or whoever, they have all been guests at the Chinsigat Hill Manor. So this place is pretty significant and has a lot of history, but we're going to keep on going down these secret trails on the property and see what else that we can find out here. Enough, but look at how far it branches out uh, here. That's look, a big tree. Right here. That's all that tree. Whenever you see big trees like that in an area, you know that it's really old land and it hasn't been touched for a while. So you'll probably find some cool stuff. Got another one of these bridges here. Whoa, this is a good one here. Wow. Jen, you need to take a picture of this. Look at this. What is this all about? Wow. This is cool. Oh, there's a little hole over there. I, I want to walk through these dried up creek beds. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Be careful. Can you go around it? Jen, you can come down and take a pit. Wow, that's really crazy looking. Okay, what are we doing? Go around until and just keep coming around. And you'll see like a little slope. Oh. Smells really earthy in here.
I guess they were pulling water. There's a there's a lake back there somewhere, somewhere over here. So they must have been pulling water from that lake a while ago. We got this pipe, and it runs all the way back there. We're heading over towards the lake. We're almost at the lake, and we found a, an abandoned house. Oh, and what is that across from it? A well? Or like, what is this? Uh, I don't know. It runs power. What? There used to be power here. That's that crazy. That's insane. Wow. Like that. that is super cool. Jen, look at this door. I know. There's little trails all through there too. Oh wow, look at the moss growing over this patio. That's a good shot for you. Like right here. Ooh, that is really pretty. Oh my god. Oh. And there's a lake over there. Dang, man, this is really pretty. I love this moss. It's a fairy tale house. Whoa, look at these double doors. It's like medieval doors. Are they locked? Yeah, they're locked. Can't get in. Is it? I think so. Let's go look. Be careful you're gonna walk on it though. Alright, let's see. What is that? That's just a tree stump. Let's walk over to the lake. See if there's anything cool there. It's really swampy. Oh, there's another building over there. There's another building over here. Right over, right in the water almost. It's a boathouse. Can't be a boathouse. That's like a fishing cabin. There was something on here. Yeah, I bet you this was a, a little fishing cabin. Any gators? No. Nope. I wonder why that's block and the rest of it's wood. I have no idea what it is, but it was something. There's block in here. In a tree? Yeah, and then like the tree fell over. That's crazy. I think uh, we could probably go this way or this way. Or that way. Or that way. Oh, this way is the way I was originally going. Check out this little bridge. 
and it leads us to a trail. <laughs> fall, on, fall on my face first. It's really dense over here. Oh, there's a nice tree for you to take a picture of. So far, nothing too cool on this little bridge trail, but we are walking through the jungle. Look, another collapsed homestead or something right here. Yeah. <clears throat> what was this, their grill? That's cool. They did build, the owners of the plantation house, I guess did build houses for family or family built on the land and I'm guessing that's that's one of them. This used to be a an actual house and now it's done Rubble. for. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is all a foundation. Whoa. Oh, and I got the sun in my all over there. Look down there. Yep. Wow, that's nuts. That's cool. So aside from that, we have something over here. You think this was one house, one big house? Could have been. So then that would be a fireplace then. All right, so we're done exploring out in this area, the woods with the little secret trails. We're gonna show you a few more things before we end this video that I think you're gonna like. So let's get out of these woods. Before we show you why they call Chinzigate Hill Mount Airy or why it was originally named Mount Airy, wanted to show you these two abandoned structures. So this is the wash house. And over there, here's a look of the inside. This was the wash house. For the, for the time period. Still holding up pretty good. USF owns this property right now, but when I was younger, you used to be able to come out here and uh, it wasn't locked up. Like you can't get into this area because there's a, there's a gate, you can't drive in here, but you used to be able to. This, these two buildings here, people used to say were extremely haunted. I've been here at nighttime a long time ago. I never heard anything, but some people would claim they would be out there or walking around and they would see lights turning on, flickering, and there's obviously no lights in there. Same thing over here. They would see lights and, and hear voices and, uh, and they were coming from the direction of both of these buildings. I never heard it or saw it firsthand, but this is just what some people were saying. Um, there are some uh, paranormal groups in this area that have been out here, especially into the, they went to the plantation house and they've done paranormal investigations and they've, I guess, confirmed that it is haunted. And here is the overseer of the property's house, R.T. Long. And that's where he stayed. And he had a pretty good view and I'll show you why. We're gonna see why they called 
this Mount Airy when it was first founded. So being that Chinzigate Hill is on the Brooksville Ridge, Chinzigate Hill is actually one of the highest elevations in Florida. And this is why they called it Mount Airy. This looks nothing like Florida. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for this video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the inside of the plantation house, let me know if you know you found this video interesting and we'll try to get inside the plantation house. There's a lot of history in there and I think there's still a lot of old artifacts inside that would be pretty cool to see. So with that being said, we are gonna be concluding this video now. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.